You're Rota? Damn straight, that's me. I heard you had a plan for the brigands. You want to tell me about it? Sure. Listen, if the brigands were just robbers, I'd slaughter them in no time. But some of them are friends, and I can't slaughter them too, can I? You've got friends among the brigands? Yes, damn it. Lorne and the other fishermen. They joined Darton and his henchmen. Because murderers sold their boats while they were at war. <laughs> the poor bastards. Why did murderers sell their boats? I don't know exactly. I wasn't there. Then why does a murderer give the fisherman the gold she got for the boats? Well, when Lorne came back from the war and heard what murderer had done, he went mad and stole her wooden leg. <laughs> wooden leg? What wooden leg? Murderer's late husband, Belgor, had a wooden leg. Murderer cares a lot about that leg. Yeah, it was a gift from the king, a souvenir. What do I know? <laughs> Women. Anyway, the two don't talk to each other anymore, right? So, what's your plan? Lorne takes the wooden leg back to Murderer, and Murderer gives the fishermen their gold for their boats. Then everything's fine. The fishermen can go fishing again, and I can slaughter them damn brigands at last. <laughs> Bingo! Then go talk to Lorne. Well, I did. But he doesn't trust me, because I'm staying at the Cleave Maiden with Murderer. <laughs> Do you want me to talk to Lorne? Yeah, why not? You talk to Lorne. You're new around here and neutral, right? Where is he? Up there on the old watchtower, moping over his boats and staring at the damn sea. <laughs> You're new here. Yes. Why? And maybe you're not in yet with that murderer. Maybe you'd be willing to help a desperate fisherman. What do you want me to do for you? I've lost a wooden leg. Sounds daft, I know. But I was furious at the time and pretty drunk. Can you look for it for me? Why don't you do that yourself? The goblins are getting more and more cheeky. And I'm a fisherman, not a fighter. But you... You know how to handle a weapon. I'll help you with that wooden leg. Could you at least give me a few hints that might help me in the search? It's somewhere on the hill, east of here, on Hog's Rock. Oh, uh, smell of smoke and goblin piss, I remember that. And in the distance, you can see the old watchtower. I'll go and look for this leg, then. You going to stay here? No, I'm off to my hut on the beach. You'll find me there. What about the leg? Rota told me about the wooden leg. He thinks it's the one off Murderer's dead husband. Yes, that's right. After my argument with Murderer, I nicked it from her for revenge. Now you want to give the wooden leg back? I want to exchange it for something else. You want to exchange the wooden leg for gold? Murderer may be attached to Belgor's leg, but believe me, she's much more attached to her gold she is. I'll think of something if she's not quite so attached to. What do you want to swap the wooden leg for? Hey, uh, I barely know you. Bring me that wooden leg, then we'll talk.
What do you want here? I heard you had some meat. Well, looky here. We got a thirsty one. <laughs> you think you're gonna get what you want? Just give me two kegs of meat, and I'll leave your face in one piece. Hey, lads, look here. Somebody's looking for a wallopin. Take it. I'm no longer thirsty. by boat, did you? How did you know that? D'Artan has cut off the bridge to the north, and the pass in the south is buried under a landslide. So, if you can't swim across the Silver Lake, a boat is the only possibility. You don't look like an ordinary traveler. Who are you? My name is Zyra. I'm an adventurer. I specialize in old ruins. You're a specialist in ruins. So have you heard anything about an old temple here in the mountains? You're looking for an old temple. How exciting! Tell me more. I've talked to a mage. He gave me a lead where I could perhaps find out more about the temple. Yeah? Where? I don't know much myself, but Rovar's paladins are looking for the temple too. The paladins? Yes. They say there's a blessed anvil there. The paladins want it, and I'm gonna stop them from getting it. So you're fighting for the king of Sitarif? In the castle in Silver Lake, there's an old archive. Maybe I can find out more about the temple there. Well, you'll have to think about how you're going to get past the brigands. Otherwise, you won't get to Silver Lake. I know. No, I fight for no king. I want to avenge my friends who were murdered by Robar's men. I'm sorry about your friends, but be careful. Vengeance is a double-edged sword. Ha <laughs> ha, there you are again. Got the mead yet? I've got the mead. Ah, good for something you are. So, any idea how I can get across the bridge? Take a keg of mead, go to the guards at the entrance of the brigands' camp, and ask them if they'll let you through. You think that'll work? Not really, but they'll nick the mead from you and drink it themselves. Spike it with a few iron bullets. That'll rob them of their free will. That way you can 
to take Dartan by surprise. Free to be free. Sounds good. You win. Let's try the trick with the mead. You've already got a cake of mead. You'll just need to get three iron bullets for me. Where can I get iron bullets? Go to the old mine. There's some growing there. <laughs>